So today will probably be fairly short. Um, I, uh, first off, I woke up at like 5 a.m. because uh, I had a, an idea as far as the uh, previous hotel, the one that I was supposed to be staying at. Um, like I said, I kept seeing different addresses for it. And then so on Hotels.com, it actually had a picture of the building. I was like, oh, wait, I know that building. So I got up at like 5 a.m. just out of curiosity, walked over, um, and that's not a building. So I have no idea where that hotel is. <laughs> um, but so the hotel I did stay at uh, was good. Um, I had a um, breakfast buffet in the morning included with the room. And uh, so I had some, had like an, some eggs and uh, some fruit and some noodles and veggies and some uh, rice porridge. And then uh, the uh, I found a hotel that I could basically just get on a bus um, nearby and just get off right by the hotel. So I figured I'd just do that. Um, and it said that online it said that the bus was every 10 minutes. So I got out there and right when I get to the bus stop, the bus is going by and I was like, ah, it's 10 minutes. I'm not going to try to rush. And then <laughs> I think I ended up waiting there for like an hour almost just sitting at the bus stop. It's not because I, I was trying to be polite. So I got up, even though there was a couple of seats left. Anyways, I got up to free up another seat, because I figured I'd only be there for 10 minutes. So yeah, I'm just going to pace him back and forth and sitting down on the ground for an hour. The uh, bus is kind of like the boat in that you pay, like, there's not like a machine you put it, the money in. It's like a, there's someone whose job it is just to kind of go up to each person that gets on the bus. And uh, he has this like, um, oh she, but this was a he, um, has this like a tube um, register thing where like he has like tickets stored in there and then uh, he can make change. I thought it was a very efficient way to do that. Um, and then the, uh, I showed him where I was going because it's, it's uh, distance based. And so I wasn't really sure how much I had to pay. I think it was like 12 baht. And uh, the guy actually told me when to get off. Like, I had a vague idea because I had my GPS app, but um, the guy told me, like, <laughs> in Thai, um, he kind of, like, pointed and stuff. So, and it was interesting, like, the bus doesn't really stop. So it's like when you are getting on, you just kind of, it slows down and you jump on and then get off, <laughs> jump off. Um, and when I, the door first opened, like, <laughs> there's, like, branches from the trees. Like, I almost, like, smacked my face into the branches. Um, and then I got lost a little bit, but this time... Um, as far as getting the hotel, but this time there's only like two minutes. I just, uh, it's kind of in the back alley, so I walked by it once. I thought this was just a window. I don't know what the logic was behind this, but I can like come out on the roof. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to walk on there though, but it's a nice view of the trees. And... Uh, I don't know what that stuff is. It's just randomly, randomly on the heater. So far the only uh, concerning thing is that the uh, power has gone out. Um, or it was out when I first got here. So like normally around here you put your key in and then it turns on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, so uh, it was off and then I had to talk to them and then they turned it on and then it went off like 10 minutes ago. So I went down in there again and they said that they were resetting it. <laughs> and apparently they're resetting it just now. That was amazing. This area... It's kind of like, um, it's along the road that I was walking um, the other day, but like, it's uh, mostly just like auto shops. So um, there's not like a whole lot to do around here. Uh, the Wi Fi is better than the last place. It's still not great, um, but I was able to get one video up. Um, and so I killed a few hours just working. And then uh, went down because I 
didn't have lunch, and so I went down to uh, it's a antique, it's called Antique Cafe, uh, not to be confused with the Japanese band Antique Cafe or Am Cafe. So I thought it was just going to be like an antique themed cafe, but it's actually I think I guess it's a cafe and an antique store. I had a blueberry smoothie and a, uh, it was like a Thai tea, I guess it was like a cheesecake kind of thing. Uh, not a, it was some kind of cake. Um, and they, I asked if I could take pictures and they said, yeah. Um, and I wasn't expecting to see that many antiques in there. Like, there's hundreds of teacups, which is interesting. Um, the cake was good and the smoothie was good. The smoothie was a lot richer than I thought it was going to be. Like, I didn't realize they put like yogurt in it, so it was almost like having like a, again, like a cheesecake almost. It was very thick, but it was good. Um, and then, uh, I was walking out, um, and normally at cafes you pay when you first order, but she didn't ask for my money, and then so I kind of forgot as I was starting to leave, I was like, thank you, bye, thank you, and she's like, no, 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 so <laughs> hopefully she understood that I wasn't intentionally trying to walk out, um, it was only a couple bucks anyways, um, and then, uh, came back to the hotel, um, and then, again, just kind of worked for a little bit and then I went downstairs. I was gonna I wanted I'm I'm getting in a rut with eating at hotels. Um, but I'm in areas where there's not that many other restaurants. Like there are like food stalls, but like, I've been having stomach issues anyway, so I don't really want any um, street food right now. Um and uh, it's kinda nice to really just sit down and relax. But that said I this is probably my least favorite uh, hotel restaurant. Um there's really nothing interesting in the like there was no like beer garden or music or anything like that. And actually um and this is kind of a broad, um, larger point in that like I don't know if it's just the, this time of year or uh, this time of the week or this area, but like, I almost feel like I'm in like Westworld or something, um, where like I'm the only, <laughs> I don't want to say human inhabitant, but it's like a, I'm like usually the only customer in places. So like actually with the restaurant at this place, they like asked me if I wanted to eat and then they like turn on the lights and stuff like that. Um, and then I ended up just getting a pad thai. Um, which is cliche, but I hadn't actually gotten it since I'd been here, and so I wanted to try a good pad thai, and this wasn't really a good pad thai. I should have said I like spicy, because this was kind of just sweet and a little bit sour. Like, it wasn't bad, but it was... Um, and then, uh, uh, two other guys eventually walked in, but, um, but yeah, it's just, it's, it's weird. It's, like, at the cafe, I was the only person there, other than the staff, and then, uh, there was this one, um, like a, I guess kind of a nightclub bar thing um, that I was going to go to, but I couldn't tell if they had food. Um, and I went by there um, just now on my way to 7-Eleven. And uh, again, there's like the one employee. Um, it looked like a cool place. There's like a um, stage and like pool tables and stuff like that, but it's empty. So it's like, uh, it's kind of late in the night, so I don't feel like sitting there. So it was a lot easier to uh, get through that intersection that I had to um, walk down to get a shortcut the other day when I ended up going on the freeway. Um, I guess it's just like a restrictive usage road. It's weird that there's like no alternative for pedestrians. I guess you just have to get on a bus or whatever. And to their credit, they have a lot of different buses. Like uh, I probably could have jumped on any of a couple, any of several buses that were going by. It's just the one that I was told on Google to get was taking forever. Um, what was weird is I saw like three of that bus go on the other direction within like 15 minutes or something, so it's like on that way, it's always, it always going, um, but, uh, yeah, so when I was walking the other day, like, I think it pretty much put me out, like, almost like an hour out of my way, just to go cross that intersection, <laughs> um, and then so it's kind of nice, just gonna ride through it this time. I was a little disappointed, um, <clears throat> so this is the, um, desk area and I was hoping like I was gonna wear my glasses but then it just it I wanted to <laughs> I thought it'd be funny to kind of have a little rap star or rap music video reflection on my glasses but uh you just kind of you can't even see the ring you just see the reflection on the screen I'm kind of just traveling in increments now um with hotels I'm just kind of like looking on 
Hotels.com to see what's the closest, cheapest one. That looks interesting. Go there. So my place uh, tomorrow is actually a hotel, but I think it's only like eleven dollars. Um, it's very small though. But um, and then online they say that they had good Wi-Fi. Although, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm wondering how far behind I'm going to get as far as posting these. But along the way, there's a maybe some parks, so we can get some footage there. I didn't get too many uh, photos today, because again, a lot of the time it's just in the bus, and there's only so many pictures you take around auto shops. Through my sleep schedule is pretty much adapted, so uh, as opposed to crashing at like six, or whatever. Um, I don't really get to sleep around like I guess ten or eleven. I keep squinting because I'm trying to the clock, um, but it's gonna be a little weird. Now that my sleep schedule is doing this, because I have to be uh, available for email responses when I'm at work, so we'll see. I got worried when I first uh, got in here and after the power came back on, because the air conditioning, I did not understand to use the remote. Normally it's just like, turn it on, make it cold, um, and it wasn't doing that. And then uh, it started turning on and it was making really low noise, so I was worried that uh, it was like dying or something like that, but luckily it's keeping up pretty well. I feel so bad about the hotel last night. I wasted so much power because I didn't realize that the door was open. But, uh, one thing that takes some getting used to is um, it's almost like I have to deal with mosquitoes more indoors than I do outdoors here. Because, uh, I mean, outdoors I'm walking pretty fast and I'm not really close to any big body of water right now. There's like a canal, canal but it's several blocks away and then there's like, I think a little tiny ravine behind the hotel. Um, but like, Especially, well, actually, surprisingly, last night wasn't that bad, but um, they find ways to just get in the rooms. So hopefully I don't get eaten alive tonight. Okay, so this is the remote. It looks like a phone. <clears throat> so the settings are mode, fan, swing, and I feel. And then there's a tree and a house. There's turbo, light, and X fan. <laughs> I have no idea what any of these things do. But luckily, I've gotten it to the point where it'll get cold, speaking of which, it's off right now. Uh, so it's starting to heat up a little bit, so I need to sign off soon. Anyway, um, I'll probably end up posting this on like Saturday or something. But, uh,